You know, there's certain birth months that produce the most <laughs> cheaters <laughs> and unfaithful people. <laughs> you feel me? Since How are you gonna start <laughs> off with that and act <laughs> like we were talking about cheating? That's messed nah, up, nah, bro. Nah, nah. That shit is Listen, messed up. Since we were talking about relationships in the last one, yeah. with the green line test, I did my own little research. Mm. You feel me? And I found out there's actually birth months that produce the most. So listen, scientists. What it is like October or November? No, 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 it's not. That's mine. So relax. I'm not a cheater. <laughs> so, so oh, it there's, is. There's, uh, there's certain. Uh, I think scientists ran studies for thousands of uh, divorces that got broken up just because of cheating. Mm. Right. So the last one, the most loyal people yeah. were born in March. So if you're born in March. You're good. The bro. most loyal. Yeah, most more okay. loyal. Mine is, I'm born in November. Mine is like eighth, ninth place, right? Mm. So I'll tell you the top three, right? Coming in third place, September. Okay, do you know yeah. anyone in September? Uh, nah. Nah, okay. Nah. So for people in September, second one is May. So the second most you? Most, most people that cheat. And okay. the third and the, the number one place, the most unfaithful cheaters Mr. Carlos himself. It's February. <laughs> February. You're, you're, you're lying. February. That's why I was. You're when, lying. When I was reading it, I was like, February. Wait, when's Carlos' birthday? Again? You're lying. It's not February. It is. It is. What the? F February was like eighty nine percent. Born in February. Yeah. So you're saying Aquarius is. Aquarius is. You guys are cheaters, man. Whoa! <laughs> why are you excusing me? I'm not accusing you of that. I'm nothing. I'm, I'm just that's saying. That's just all theory, man. No. That's just all theory. Scientists, there's studies, man. What the? F how are you gonna find out though? Like, are you gonna? No. How, how do they do these studies? So what they did was like, uh, I think they took all the divorces out of cheating. Oh, divorces. And yeah. Oh and shit. Then, and then they they kind of got their birthdays. And oh, the the girl or the boy was born in. I'm I'm curious to see like what uh age range it is though. Oh. Because it's probably like older. Yeah, I mean, it's yeah, definitely because, older. Yeah, when you marry, what, what, you're like 50, 60? You marry if not. Oh, no, no, like, you mean divorce? Yeah, divorce. It could be around like yeah, 40. So, so you marry around like 30, 40, and then you get the divorce around like, I don't know. Now, some people marry early, bro. Word. Some people marry early, what's, early. What's that uh, paper that the guys get the girls to sign? So they We don't... want prenup. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> something that you need to have. <laughs> No, because I seen a TikTok and the guy was like, oh, you have to sign this before we get married. And the girl's like, no. He's like, what the fuck do you mean? What the fuck do you mean? Nah, you need that, bro. Like, especially yeah. especially if you have any sort of money. Honestly, yeah. it should just be commonplace. Yeah. It should just be commonplace. I don't know. I don't know why you have to, like, give up half of your stuff if you want to divorce. Yeah. It doesn't make any sense to me. I know. The, the smartest one was Rice Gum. Do you know when Rice Gum let uh, his girlfriend sign a contract so he couldn't steal any of their money or something or no like, it was because talk shit. I, I i think it was a it was an nda because he knew he was gonna make her famous oh yeah yeah yeah. he yeah. knew he was gonna make her famous yeah so he's like okay you gotta sign this nda uh -huh. and then you can't make any more money off of me or some shit something like that Word. yeah like if we break up yeah it was something about the if we break up you're not allowed to make money or, or talk about me yeah yeah Bad. that That's makes smart. sense that makes That's sense so though smart. shit in hollywood you have to do that too, I, i'm pretty sure like leonardo dicaprio big yeah. one that does it yeah. um even like probably like elon musk and all these people yeah. dan bozerian probably mm -hmm. anybody that drake drake's probably a big one because i was watching these i was watching these podcasts okay, right yeah. and you know you know those those girls that talk about like the celebrities they dated and shit oh yes and then <laughs> Bro. there's this one story i forgot who it was it might have been tana mojo or someone yeah. <laughs> no it was definitely somebody no yeah. no it was uh who's kylie's friend kylie uh kylie jenner kylie jenner's friend the Oh, the, the black girl? No, the white girl. White girl. Uh, Kuzma tried dealing with it. Oh, Kendall. No, what are you talking about? Ken That's Kendall your sister. Kendall Stupid? Jenner, I swear, dated Kuzma. No, there's somebody else. Oh, there's, somebody, oh, there's else. somebody else. No, but anyways, okay. towards the point, she was telling the story, right? <laughs> yeah. They're, they're asking, like, who's the most famous person you dated? Okay. And then she's like, oh, I can't say who. And then, but everybody's like, Drake. Word? Yeah. Nah, that's crazy. No, because I remember on No Jumper, they do that a lot because they have a lot of the, the OnlyFans girls. Mm. And they always reveal it. So I think the girl was Eliza or something. Yeah. She's like, yeah, I sucked off the whole Phoenix Suns. What the, the Phoenix Suns team. And then nah, that's it, crazy. It was funny because the Phoenix Suns team in the bubble went undefeated. <laughs> <laughs> In that same year? Was and it the same year? I don't know if it was in the same year, but like I remember they went like six and zero in the bubble. And then that the news came out. 
Mm. I sucked off the whole penis. Oh my <laughs> god, bro! I feel like for some girls, it's it's an achievement. I don't know. Yeah, it's weird, man. She's like, she's like, oh yeah, I I had sex with Chris Brown and he like peed on me. What and the shit like frick? That. I was like, why are you exposing this? Like, why are you so prideful to to say this? You think you think guys are the same? Like what? they they were they're very prideful of um who who they dealt with. Yeah, yeah, or for dated sure. for sure. If once once you do something with like a girl, who do you think is more prideful though? Oh. I feel like guys are more like expressive toward their boys. Cause you know the ones like, ah, you know, what you do. I, I think I'm gonna disagree. But just just because just because if you if you think about like celebrities, okay. Right? Yeah. We hear all the time about about girls dating like famous celebrity guys, like mm-hmm. super successful guys. Yeah. But we don't hear it as much as like lower tier guys dating up. Lower tier guys dating up. Or like not lower tier, but yeah. but lower class, I mean. Okay, okay. In a sense. No, but I feel like girls don't like we don't have a girl on this podcast to ask her, but like, I was gonna ask like, oh, do they go to their girls after they they fuck a guy and be? Oh, like, I talked about that with Sophia. On my, what'd she say? My what'd podcast. She, say? she said, she said, nah, they don't, they don't even exactly. They don't we're, even... we're more like, yeah, let's go. Like we mm. did that. You feel me? Because it's harder for us. It's harder for us mm. girls. I guess they just uh, go boom, boom, boom. That shit happens. That's that's normal for them. Okay, what would you do if someone tried getting at you just for your money, like? Just for my mind. What would you do? Would you be like fair play? Or like would a girl? You be like, yeah. like a girl? If you found out a girl was getting for you just for your money. I would be pissed, obviously. <laughs> I'll be pissed. I would probably be like, oh, no, you got to repay some of that. Like, really? Like, 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 yeah? Ga- like, like, oh, gas money at least. Wow. <laughs> like, fill my tank at least wow. one, two times. And then I'll, I'm, we're fine with that, man. But like, I wouldn't, That that's why it's like, you got to test before you do all these material gifts. Because mm. I'm not even a... I don't like receiving gifts, like really, really big material gifts. Yeah. So I'm like, oh no, unless unless we like really love each other, then I'll get you something. If it's True. out of my if it's out of my emotion. True. I think I think anybody like super, super rich though, yeah. their their likes and like interests are very different from the poor class, oh, obviously. Yeah, yeah. But have you ever heard of those things where this is kind of crazy, but yeah. there there's stories of people, like super rich people. Yeah. Allegedly, okay, they would steal like homeless people off the streets and kidnap rich them. people and do what and put them in like a field and hunt them. Huh? You ever heard about that? You ever you ever watched the movie The Hunt? No, I haven't. What so, is that? So, so pretty much the premise of that movie is uh-huh. there's these super rich people. It's kind of like the Hunger Games, kind of like the Purge, okay, right? Okay. So they're so I guess um used to the greatest things in life you know what i mean yeah yeah they're so used to getting all the luxuries you can get Mm -hmm. and one of the most primal things you can do as a human is what is to hunt and kill okay right so there's something twisted in their minds where they decide to go and and kidnap like homeless people off the street or even just kidnap people in general yeah yeah and put them into their own like private facility private island yeah and hunt them just like so, deer, just like fuck, bro. Game. So it's like real life duck and, and hunt. Yeah, but what's crazy in the movie? Okay, they actually give them weapons. So it's like okay, let let's make it a little bit more fun. Let let's see if they can fight back. <laughs> what the fuck? Yeah. So the the guy who who uh, assembled all this could die from this. Yeah, he could die from it. Yeah. What? But I think that it's that it's that sense of like you have to you have to try. Yeah. Because. If it's like shooting ducks in a barrel, it's no fun, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, true, true. So for them, if they want to make it more of like a challenge, more of a game, uh-huh. they give them that little, like super small percentage of a chance that okay. they could actually win instead. Ew, man. And that's what that movie's about. Oh, oh, it's just a movie. It's not, is it based on real life? Because what you're telling me. The, that's the thing. Yeah. That's the thing. Because um, there's rumors, there's all of these stories that mm-hmm. some of these things might happen behind closed yeah. doors do in know, real life. Do you know where, like the location, like US... I don't know, man. Yeah. I don't know. I know. They're I don't too- know exactly, but yeah. like, <laughs> <laughs> no, because there was weird, weird ass rules. Because I was also back to the wedding stuff. Yeah, there was. I think in two thousand six, a twenty seven year old woman married an eleven year old boy in Massachusetts. What the? Because yeah. f- I think the marriage age. I, I found out that in the U S, like the youngest a girl yeah. can be is like twelve. Twelve years old to marry. Yeah, is that legal though? Yeah, in Massachusetts, like there's certain laws in certain co- in certain things states. But what is like the the age range? Can it can it be like? I mean, yeah, the guy, the guy. How old was the guy? Eleven and twenty seven. What the? F- yeah. No, that's not right. I know, like the the boy is imagine like playing video games. Yeah. And then you got to do go to a marriage the next day. That's kind of fucked. That's messed like, up. Why would you even do that? There's got to be like money involved. 
with the little boy there's gotta be money involved bro or maybe the little boys now what if, what if what if the parents are pimping him off all pimping him off Fuck, that's scary bro see because look if if these rich people they have access to money right they'll make you do things that you wouldn't even think of yeah so it's, it's at that point it's like you guys are blind like you guys don't even feel emotion no more you just could kill a homeless guy that's messed up it's messed up that's messed up because because the the kind of um theory behind it is mm. them trying to lock back into their senses of like exactly a human because if you think about it no matter what class you're in if you're yeah. rich or poor we're all human at the end of the day and we I all know. have basic necessities what are yeah. basic necessities food shelter water whatever right mm. and to get those things yeah our primal instinct is to go hunt go gather mm. and kill yeah but if you're rich you don't need to hunt you don't need to do any of that you're, Me, you're living in a rich mansion you exactly don't, exactly you're chilling. but going back to uh, remember our last oh, episode where is i said that why they're they're missing that yeah oh because remember i said oh rich people might think poor shit is more fun oh got it like got if it. you're that rich got it yeah life gets boring life gets boring and for at them. that point you're just like a maniac that's that squid game bro that's yeah, that squid game nah one of the one of the because that's, that's just like, oh, you're just killing out of, like, blind emotion, raw emotion. Mm -hmm. Have you ever heard of um Nevada 10? What is that? There's like, okay, so this is probably, like, one of the craziest killers. Like, yeah. she's so numb to it. Mm -hmm. And she, it kind of reminded me of Kill Bill 2. Why? Why? So, so, listen. So, this girl named Nevada 10 in Japan, right? Yeah. And she was very, like, high IQ, very smart. And all the girls were mad jealous of her, right? Mm -hmm. So, one day, she she's already known for, like, being an aggressive girl. Like, she'll push around people at the school. She'll do this and that, yeah, she's right? she's like a nowhere do well yeah exactly, exactly. <laughs> yeah. and she had like a i think a online channel like youtube yeah and everyone at the time would like talk shit talk shit mm -hmm. so one day on some real life anime shit bro she went into a classroom with just one person mm -hmm. she saw a little kid probably like a year younger than her takes a like a sharpener and razor oh slits for her. for what Lily, just because she was mad, slits her her throat, slits her wrist, slits everything. What the heck? Blood everywhere. And you know what? What hoodie she was wearing? What? A Nevada University. That's why she got the nickname Nevada Ten. Oh. The, this is the craziest yeah, part too. Yeah. This is why she was numb to everything. She, blood on her hoodie. Mm -hmm. Goes into her next class and sits down. Mm. Everyone in the in the room is shook. Like, what the fuck? There's blood on her shit. Yeah, yeah. The 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 uh, teacher. She's like, yo, I just found out. Like, call the police right now. Mm. Police barge in, and she's just like, yeah, I did it. Wow. And then blood what, ha what happened to her? Blood. She, did she, uh, she get arrested? What? Yeah, she got arrested. But the police were saying like she didn't fucking care. She's like, yeah, I did. So she's it. like insane. Yeah, yeah. She's like numb to everything. Like real Kill Bill. Damn. She's like, yeah, I did it. Like, take me in. I don't care. So. Which, how old was she in? Uh, I think she was like, so this was high school, I think. Oh, high school. So, okay. so around, I don't know what, what age is. And she's Japanese. But fam, the, the media got into it and yeah. like everyone was like making fan art of Nevada 10. Like, wow. This girl, so she became like a celebrity. Like, a, like she was like a real life anime. Oh, point. shit. Yeah, yeah. They probably made an anime about to her. Be honest, probably. Yeah, there probably is. Probably. You know what that reminds me of though? What? So there's this movie I literally just watched like a few days ago. Oh, yeah? What's it's it called, it's called, no, it's called La Femme Nikita. So okay, I think I heard you you saying something about this. Did I? Yeah, I think you told me this. Okay, so check this out. Okay, I was watching it. This concept is fire, though. Look, yeah. so there's this girl, kind of like, kind of like what your story is. Yeah, yeah. Where she's a troublemaker. Yeah. I think she was a drug addict actually, okay. and she was going around doing crimes and everything. Right. Mm. She got arrested, and when she got arrested, she ended up like killing cops. Oh fuck! While she was being arrested, oh. right? Now what's crazy is. They put her on death row, right? To to kill her. Yeah. Because like, no, she she's she's a menace to society. What's yeah. she gonna do for us, right? Yeah, that so they weren't gonna put her in jail. They were gonna kill her on the spot. Mm. What's even crazier, bro? Like, even when she was getting interrogated, all of that stuff, yeah. she would try everything in her heart to fight back. Like she'll use a pencil to stab somebody, oh, yeah. she'll use her forehead, whatever yeah. she can, yeah. right? They didn't put her in the chair. No, that's what that's what ended up happening. Okay. So she got locked up in the chair okay. and she's crying. She's like, you have to tell my mom, like, I don't want to go out like this. They put the lethal injection in her, right? Mm. It goes in. She passes out. Dead, right? Yeah. No, but she wakes up. No. She wakes up. Listen, listen, it. listen. So what happens? She what? wakes up in this white room on a bed. Nothing else in the room, right? Okay. And all of a sudden somebody walks in. Yeah. Who the fuck is this, right? She's scared. And it turns out 
she is legally dead. She's legally dead to the government, but she was recruited by this team that trains assassins. <laughs> so what they what they saw in her was potential yeah. because she was she was so like insane, so numb to doing violence, right? Oh, okay. That they wanted to recruit her to be an assassin for them. Fuck. So they ended up training her. And what's crazy, look, uh -huh. she had two choices. The guy said to her, okay, you can join us uh -huh. or you can die. Like, cause you're already dead. People already think you're dead. We put somebody in a, in your coffin, mm. right? There's somebody in your coffin. You can go to your grave. Yeah. And if you don't want to join us, we'll put you in that coffin instead. So she ended up joining them, right? Yeah. No other choice. Might as well live a life as an assassin than not live a life at all. Yeah. So she trains up, trains up, becomes one of the greatest assassins ever. Holy she goes smokes. On the movie, yeah. I don't want to spoil everything else, but it's a fire Oh, that, that was movie. the movie. That was the That's movie. That's the movie. Is it based on a true story? Like this actually went on? I don't know, but I think, I think what's so dope about that is uh -huh. she was a criminal, right? She was like a menace to society yeah. and they saw something in her. Yeah. I'm pretty sure in the movie, the 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 team that took her in mm -hmm. was actually part of like government agents it wasn't oh, it wasn't yeah. just any mercenary or whatever it was yeah, actually yeah. like government funded word do you, do you think they always do that if they see like some crazy like uh say uh in the mental asylum mm. they see a crazy guy but they're like nah let's recruit him for like the army or some shit. there's potential because look look yeah even if it's like somebody that goes to daring heights to do something super crazy nobody yeah. else in the world would do yeah that means they have something in their mind that no other person has. Yeah, exactly. Right? So that like means that there's poten this potential for something. Yeah. Whether it be good or bad for society, there's mm -hmm. potential for something. Yeah. And a very smart person mm -hmm. or a very like creative mind would see that potential and yeah. put them into a position that can better themselves. Yeah. Fuck right? Bro. That got, that got me thinking too, like how um the whole thing is like you're legally dead to the government or to the mm -hmm, other people because mm -hmm. they want her her dead obviously yeah yeah but 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 they gave her injection that doesn't really kill her it just passes her out so so yeah it it made it made it seem as if she died she's, she actually died everybody thinks she died and now she's a ghost so that brings up a, a question in the real life do you think that happens too so does the government and like the higher ups like oh maybe this big celebrity we don't want him actually mm -hmm. dead you don't want him so, dead so because he's, just, he's too valuable exactly right? let's just label him as dead but he's actually like we'll put him in punta cana mm. <laughs> or fucking cabo and he'll be chilling for the rest of his life mm. Like Tupac, exactly, because he did his. Tupac's dues. still alive in Cuba. Cuba, Cuba. <laughs> he got lost in the Bermuda Triangle. <laughs> Yo, because because there's there's theories, right? That yeah. the reason ah, I don't want to get too deep yeah, into uh, like the Illuminati yeah, stuff, yeah, but no, like yeah. <laughs> yeah, but some people they might have information that they're holding on to, mm. and like if we can knock them off, but not knock them off at the same time, yeah. it's more valuable to us. Word. Damn. What well, what do you think you would do if you're in that position of you either die or live a life of of mystery? No, of violence. Oh, which shit. one would you choose? Cuz in a sense you're a slave, right? Mm, okay. Die or live a life of violence. To be honest, if I have nothing to live for, fuck it, violence. Really? Yeah. Yeah. And then if if I get uh, a to be a part of the assassin team? Hell yeah. No, but it's <laughs> not. It's cool, but it's not cool at the same time. Because yeah, yeah. I thought it was cool, right? Because well, I'm yeah. watching it. Yeah. But I was thinking, like, if I'm in those, in that in that yeah. shoe, what, 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 what type of missions do you think that they, they go? Have you read into, like, assassins? Like, what type of missions do they go on? Literally, like, killings, bro. Like, yeah. they'll, they'll do assassinations to high political figures. Yeah. Or even just mob bosses, people. Yeah high importance mm -hmm. and you're going into like the most dangerous positions you can be yeah. so uh, i don't want to spoil the movie but yeah. that's what exactly what she was doing mm -hmm. so she was shit she was hiding in, mm -hmm. in corners of the houses yeah. she was like what's crazy she actually she actually fell in love with somebody right oh, and i don't want to spoil but she would have to do these assassinations yeah. while being in a relationship <laughs> So behind closed doors, right? She, so she's living a double life, living a double life. Okay. Shit. Hannah Montana. Yeah, living <laughs> a double life. Nah, but okay, if you could live a double life, right? Yeah, yeah. No, I would be I would be an assassin. Cause listen, these are the top three things like um I've always wanted to do. Yeah. Like if I was like, oh free, no uh in GTA, mm -hmm. no stars are given, I don't go to jail, mm -hmm. I'm I'm Whitney free. I what not Whitney free, uh, what do you call this? Fucking I just get away free. Yeah, yeah. yeah I said Whitney. But uh the number one. Rob a house, 
That's mm. that's top three. That's top three. And then rob a what you, rob a bank? Because remember, remember we were playing. <laughs> Yo, what is Gavin? Oh, no, no, remember man. we were playing Roblox? That uh, that the what do you call this? The the Wild West game. The Wild West. Yeah. I was always. <laughs> they would be doing their own thing, and then all you hear would be a bank alarm go off. <laughs> <laughs> Who's in the bank? <laughs> <laughs> me yo and then number one i would want to do is rob like hijack a plane that's why number one that's yo one. this guy bro that's a fire like mission to go on you feel me but i'm not, obviously i'm not this guy said it. osama yeah <laughs> nah, yo hijack a plane sure. or like take all the money from the plane and just dip off with like a little uh, a dv cooper DV yeah dv cooper. cooper type yeah game. yeah yeah i don't know i don't if if i was living a double life as an agent i feel uh -huh. like it would be kind of sad just because you can never live the life that you're trying to live word because if you watch the movie she's like she's kind of torn apart yeah and on that note shout out to our sponsor cuts clothing so they've spent years perfecting men's t-shirts taking look good feel good to a new level honestly bro anytime i want to go out where i look for yep any of my cut shirts cuts bro. clothing honestly man. look at the cut cut <laughs> the feel the fit Facts. everything about it i can just put on get out and yeah. get my job done feel yeah. me any occasion anytime anywhere i look good i feel fresh Fact. what else you need and i promise y'all the quality is insane like you guys won't have to go back to any of those mid quality t-shirts you know the ones that hill and yeah. the fab doesn't look right rip, after a wash really easy the, exactly. the low quality stuff any of these cuts clothing t-shirts yeah bro i can throw in the wash mm -hmm. come out looking clean fresh every single time they got crew necks henley's and long sleeves trust me there's something for everyone cuts is on fire right now gq even labeled them the only shirt worth wearing damn so refresh your wardrobe in time for summer with cuts See for yourself why Cuts is one of the biggest man's clothing brands with over a million shirts sold. So get 15% off your first order with Cuts Clothing by going to cutsclothing.com slash jumpers, J-U-M-P-E-R-S. That's C-U-T-S clothing.com slash jumpers. The link will be down in the description. Make sure to click that. No, man, sometimes I'm feeling down on myself and I really got to like express what's going through my mind. Yeah, you just need a person there to listen. Always, bro, always. Whenever I'm going through something, I have to at least talk to somebody. Facts, facts. Bay is mental health awareness month and it's the perfect time to find one thing you can do to prioritize your mental well-being and write yourself a permission slip to get out there and do it so a licensed talk space therapist can help you identify what that permission looks like whether it's setting stronger boundaries if you guys are letting something go or gaining the courage to even try to do something different so shout out our sponsor talk space whenever i'm feeling down i can use talk space to find myself a therapist 24 7 and get whatever's bothering me off my mind so no matter where you guys are at in your mental health journey talking to a therapist makes a huge difference trust me if i were to give any advice is to take care of your mental health that's the only thing that should be important so to take some pressure off talkspace is here it's a more flexible and convenient way to get high quality care plus there are a lot of payment options to choose from so once you match with your own licensed therapist you can message them anytime through the app or schedule a live session if you need to talk through something. They have thousands of therapists across dozens of specialties. So whatever you're dealing with, Talkspace has an expert for the support you need. Talkspace is private, secure, and most importantly, accessible. It's everything you love about therapy without the stuff that gets in the way. So consider this your permission slip to put your mental health first. Match with your dedicated therapist at Talkspace.com and use our promo code JUMPERS, J-U-M-P-E-R-S, to get $100 off your first month. That's a hundred dollars at talkspace.com with our promo code jumpers trust me guys put your mental health first the link will be down in the description make sure to click that it's kind of it's kind of like that same thing if if you're doing a job that you don't love to do you're kind of torn apart with your passion yeah yeah to the be same honest, thing yeah like in squid game too like how the guy was um living a double life because he was uh, a good person but he played the bad role and he was always stressed all Wait, the time who who was Remember this the guy with the who went in and disguised oh, himself. Oh, spoiler, it was his brother. His brother, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. that's... Fam, he was stressed the whole time, and in his little bedroom, he would always type, but he would be like, oh, shit, they're listening, they're listening. Yeah, like, do, yeah, yeah. Do you really want to go through that every day with your partner? Nah, bro. Well, okay, here's a real question. Would you tell your partner at a point? I think. Yeah? I think so, I think so. That's like another... You know uh, Mr. and Mrs. Smith? Uh, I think I've heard about it, but I don't know. So that's one of my favorites all time. Yeah. So... In, in that sense, it's they're on separate teams of, like, assassins. Okay. <laughs> but they don't even know. They don't even know. And then they pull their mask off and they're yeah. like, oh, shit. So they're both, they're both agents. Yeah. They're both spies and shit, but on opposing teams. Yeah. And they didn't even know. They got married That's and they didn't know.
Fuck. Yeah. That's fuck. I think one of my the, my favorite movies growing up as a kid was Juana Man. What is that? Do you know about that? So it's Juana like, Man. What is this? <laughs> so so it's kind of living like the do- double life too. So it was a basketball film, like comedy. Yeah. Where it was a guy who wanted to play basketball, but he went in the end the women's league mm. and no one could dunk, right? Mm-hmm. But he he was the only one that, that could dunk and was the best there because he's disguised as a woman. Wow. What the heck? <laughs> That's like case show time, bro. <laughs> oh, yeah, no, so like Mike, like Mike and Joanna Man, my favorite movies, basketball movies growing yeah. up, fam. Favorite basketball movie, I think, is Airbud. That's my favorite. I didn't even like Airbud. You didn't like Airbud? You know why? No. Yeah, you know why I didn't why? like Airbud? Because I didn't like dogs. Oh, you don't like I dogs? I don't like dogs. I don't like animals in general. Like, that's dumb as fuck. Like, Airbud was Airbud fire, playing bro. basketball. Like, come Airbud on, man. was fire. Come on, man. You they, guys overhyped that you shit. Know, you know why I love it so much? It's why? because I got it for free in those Rice Krispie, <laughs> Rice Krispie boxes. What? Yeah. Like, like prizes? Yeah. No, like Rice Krispie boxes, they used to have prizes inside of them. Like, just oh. free. They had free movies in the Rice Krispie, bro. Yeah. Yeah. I think even in the cereal itself, uh-huh. but the, the, the squares, you know, the, the chewy squares? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I got the mask, okay. Air Bud, and um, Alice in Wonderland. Alice in Wonderland? Alice in Wonderland, yeah. Oh, I, I've never got that from cereal boxes. The, the number one toy I got was the McDonald's one, where mm. they actually gave you like mini arcade games. You oh, know, yeah, I got that the, too. The, I got the that too. With the, yeah. the Sonic ones. Yeah, exactly, yeah, yeah. Exactly. But um, I don't know why they don't do that anymore. Why don't they yeah. they put like prizes in, mm-hmm. in cereal boxes anymore? E- even the, the Kinder the kinder Egg with yeah. the surprise in it, I think they banned it from the States. Oh, it's been banned. It's been banned. Because like choking hazards and shit. Yeah, did you know yeah. Kinder Egg Surprise is actually an act of terrorism if you bring it into the, the States? No. Yeah. If you bring it from Canada to the States, it's actually an act of terrorism. Yeah. To be honest, fam, you can do a lot with that though. Like like pretend it's like you know how um what do you call this? Like El Chapo and them, they moved like drugs in like books. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. You can definitely move drugs in some like some kinder egg. No, you know why? It's it's because um you're not allowed I think there's a law in the States you can't have non edible things in food. Cause, oh, okay. cause it's enclosed in food. Yeah. Right. And I guess it didn't pass through, but in Canada yeah. it's loud. Oh, okay. Which is weird. I wonder why Canada allowed it. Cause yeah, usually yeah. Canada's more strict. Yeah. To be honest, I was I was very scared because one of the movie props I used yesterday was the the money. Yeah. Right. And and I bought that shit off Amazon. So mm-hmm. I was like, oh, is there gonna be any problem with customs like moving money? Nah. Out of it. And I was like, okay, thank God it came to my house. It shouldn't be. It shouldn't. Yeah. Cause be. cause it's I think it's it has to legally say copy. Mm. Or like play money on it. Yeah, yeah. One of the biggest finesses I seen yeah. was I remember I was at like a track and field meet, right? <laughs> yeah. And the, <laughs> some kid had like a, a a bill, and I was looking at him like, "Yo, it looks kind of off, bro." Yeah. And what it was, you know how the Canadian money it has like the the clear strip, and then there's like a like a silver thing. Yeah, there's a, a see through. Yeah. See through. Yeah. Yo. It was a fake bill, oh, shit. and the clear strip they used tape and tin foil. <laughs> Obviously, that's fake, though, right? Yeah, it was fake. <laughs> I'm like, yo, that looks fucking off. Like, yeah, how did you, where'd you get that from? The, so he tried to use it, or he like he got finessed. He tried using it. He's gonna get it. Oh he's gonna use God. it. Yeah. To be honest, one of the the most disrespectful is when I give like the people, the cashiers, a fifty note bill, and then they, they look, they go like this to the light. I'm like, bro. Like, now they have to though. Yeah, but like, I don't know. It's, it's kind of like weird for me. It, uh, no, like, you, you, you think I'm I'm, I'm scamming you? You shouldn't feel like that, bro. Yeah. Like you, I, I think I think you have to put yourself in their position. Yeah. It's like they have to do whatever they have to do for to get their like um, what do you call it? Their yeah. requirements down. You know what I mean? True. Okay, if he finesses me, I'm at fault. So mm. let me just make sure. True. Yeah. I you guess. have to go through these precautions. <laughs> you know, yeah. that's right. a that's a big thing in like gun safety too. Mm. Like if you don't go through these precautions, like clearing the gun, looking at what yeah. if there's any ammo in it, mm-hmm. that's a really bad sign. Like. Yep you shouldn't even be around that stuff. For sure. Like, even I've seen on lives, like, how people, you're not supposed to hold the gun with, on the well, trigger. Yeah, that's not... And on sure live, they're, they're, like, they're like doing the motion. Yeah, there was, there was this girl that was playing that with shot. one. Shot her phone. Yeah. Crazy. And it shouldn't, like, the... I guess the bullet, I think, bounce back? Like, ricochet? I don't yeah, know. Ricochet. I don't know if it would. Yeah. I don't know if it would for that, but it would definitely, like, cause damage. <laughs> and you know the old, like, musket guns? Yeah. Some guy was flexing that, and all you hear... And he shot his roof. Wow. The, the popcorn roof went. Psh, psh. Oh my God. The mom was like, uh, 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 son, what was that? <laughs> but yeah, going going back to the, the, the bills and stuff. Yeah. There, there was, I remember seeing a place where uh, it's an illegal place that's kind of hidden, right? I where? think it was in, 
I think it's somewhere in Asia, but they disguised it as just like a, a random worker building. Mm. But in there, they hold like like Illuminati meetings, all what? that. What? And they're saying, you know, the super note bill, or I think it's like What's super. What's a super note bill? It's what like is the, that? the fake a hundred dollar US bill that was really like really good. Like they oh, like they can't they can't tell the difference. Yeah, that they're saying that they haven't got in the building, but that's where it was produced. Oh, so yeah. so this is like a secret facility where yeah. they make all those reps. Yeah, that ass. Your China's crazy with the reps, man. Sneakers, Yeezys, and now money. Yeah. Damn. To be honest, fam, I don't blame them. Like, I don't blame you buying a rep since the real ones is like five hundred dollars. Mm. Speaking of money, though, yeah, there's this um, there's this story because we don't talk a lot about Toronto stories. Okay, this but is Toronto. Yeah, there's there's this mystery in Toronto. Oh shit. Yeah, and it's kind of it kind of went over everybody's heads because nobody ever talked about it. Yeah, right? what is it? You know Roy Thompson Hall? Roy Thompson Hall. Like the music, the music hall. Oh, yeah? Yeah, yeah. 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 What about it? So when they were building that, right? I think it was around the 70s, something like that. Yeah. They uncovered like a secret room, secret wall underground. Oh, no. Nah. That floor, yeah. Yeah. So they, because they were doing construction, digging it up. Yeah. And they saw this wall there, uh-huh. right? No idea because it wasn't in any blueprints. Okay. So they opened a door that leads inside. Yeah. And what they found was a chair. Okay. A table, two coffee mugs, Uh and a metal safe that weighed 700 pounds. Oh, 700? 700 pounds. What was in there? Money? That's Drake's safe? So what's crazy, what's crazy is they, because it took a lot to take that out, 700 pounds thing, right? They had to use the equipment to take it out. Yeah. Right when they took it out. Mm. It vanished the next day. Like, nobody knows where it went. Okay. What happened? It just vanished. It yeah. just vanished. Somebody took it. Something happened to it. What the f- So we never know what will be in that safe. In that safe? Nobody ever knows what's in that safe. Holy... Okay, I'm pretty sure it was either gold bars, because that's... They're yeah. heavy as hell. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. Because I think it, was, it wasn't it was that big of a safe, but it weighed so much. So what could it be, then, if it's, it's not probably, like... It's probably gold. Gold? Yeah, it's probably that's gold. that's Drake's little safe. We, you just expose Drake's like <laughs> <laughs> no, but because because you know those stories of how people come across treasure and yeah. then they're super rich, right? Yeah. And John told me this thing before. Mm-hmm. He was saying like, if in Guyana somebody somebody comes across like riches right away yeah. out of nowhere, they're gonna get inspected on, right? For sure, because it makes sense. Like you can't be poor one day and then yeah. all of a sudden. It's like you won the lottery. Yeah, like, where, where'd you get this money from, right? CRA is going to get on your ass. Man. Yeah. So if you come up to like 25 mil, they're going to they're gonna check you up. <laughs> so John told me this thing, like mm. people will inspect you. So I'm wondering, has there any, has there ever been anybody that came across like hella money in Toronto? Yeah. Maybe they're connected to that, oh. that mystery. Okay. On is some there? detective shit. Yeah. Is there? Because Do I don't think, I don't think there was any, there was any like police file mm. or investigation on it mm. that money just went away yeah I-, I love those stories of like a hidden spot mm. so you said it was what underground it was underground yeah. under like concrete in yeah. like a separate room that's never been seen yeah, yeah. <laughs> that, that reminded me of there's like this story about the woman in the ceiling though not, <laughs> not underground <laughs> ceiling what do yeah. you mean so listen this is funny so there's a guy who lived in a one bedroom apartment right yeah so he, it's just one floor mm-hmm. it's a, a living room a kitchen and one bathroom yeah right and he lived with his girlfriend i think his name is joe cummings okay pause, pause. <laughs> i don't want to say his name because i know Resume. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> but yeah so he lived with his girlfriend right and they both work jobs so yeah. obviously they don't come home until like what 5 mm-hmm. 5 p.m so every t- so one day he noticed that he opened the fridge all his food is gone <laughs> and he's like he's like what the fuck Who ate like, that shit? So, so he asked his girl yo did you did you eat the food like it's gone yeah he's like no i didn't eat it like, okay he brushed it off mm-hmm. went to the grocery store restocked the fridge mm-hmm. the next day fam opened the fridge everything is gone mm-hmm. and now he's like okay nah now nah, for sure like did you eat it mm-hmm. oh no he, what the fuck like the girlfriend said he didn't eat it so now i think the next day after he saw footprints or like oh on his floor and his washroom so he's like yo he asked his girlfriend are these your footprints Mm -hmm. she's like nah these aren't (laughs) so they're like okay there's footprints my food is missing what can we do yeah the next day they set up a camera Mm. so they set up a camera in their kitchen right 
And they open it the next day and they see a woman coming from the vent. That's crazy, bro. What the from f- the vent. And she used, a, I think it was a table to get down to the kitchen. And she opened the food. And she's, there was like videotapes of her like drinking the milk. Nah. <laughs> Shit like that. How did she look though? Did she look scary too? It, no, it was like a tiny woman. It was oh, like a okay, tiny okay. woman. <laughs> and it was funny because uh, she timed uh, his schedule so perfect. Mm. Like, oh, when he would go to the washroom, she would go back, scurry back to the vent. Damn. That's fun. The woman. Where in, was this? This is in. Um, I don't know. I think it was in the U.S. Somewhere in the in U.S. In the U.S. Though. Yeah, that's some. That's real life parasite. Yeah, that ass. That's literally real life parasite. <laughs> the, it, it didn't look like the girl like from Parasite. Yeah, but like the videotapes were very scary. Mm. She's like, why would there be a woman coming out of a vent? No, that's messed up, yeah. bro. Because imagine even when you're sleeping at night, somebody's just watching you like that. Okay. <laughs> Please I'm like yo, <laughs> don't put anything in my head. yo. Yeah, because I always had these um, I always had these like thoughts, right? Yeah, of literally that, like somebody hiding in my house. Like, yeah. what if there's somebody hiding in here? What if I come home one day and there's somebody already there and like no. they caught me, caught me, caught them slipping? Yeah, like. I showed up at an odd time yeah. and then something happened, right? <laughs> there's like a whole couple on your bed just going at it. Yeah, I'm like, Who the yo, yo, yo. Is? yeah, yeah, yeah. But they're so used to the place. I think yeah. that really messes with your mind mm. when somebody's so used to something that you own and you yeah. haven't seen that side of it. Yeah. That's, that's like true. a real mind blowing moment. Yeah. Like if you see something that you're so comfortable with and you know every single detail about and small details that always questioned, what if those, those questions were answered by something like that. Mm. To be honest, that, that could say, like, if you're in a relationship with someone. Like they, if someone's they, cheating on you. No, no, they're so invested in your life. They know everything that's going on, what time you work, what time you think. That's the one that could backstab you. Mm-hmm. See how I tied everything in? Because it's also like it's also like the spies. Mm. So if you're living a double life, yeah. like, oh, I wonder why she always has little bruises on her knees. Word. Is she cheating or is she a spy? Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> you know what <laughs> <laughs> Yo, the accusation you don't know you don't know right no, to be honest yeah you have to pick between those two you don't know because if you if you're a spy you could also look like a cheater what <laughs> yeah if you're a spy you could look like a cheater yeah if you're a spy you could look like a cheater to somebody that that you're hiding your identity oh, from oh okay okay i get it right like if you're sneaking out at night to do these missions mm. these missions could yeah. also be you know yeah to be honest i don't know how people sneak out like in general like those kids who like oh i sneak out in my house at night i never don't know yeah, I, I I could never try that yeah, just because the, there's alarms and stuff. Exactly. Right? How Fili- do you do that? Yeah, exactly. Like the Filipino in us, just I just want to tell my mom I'm going out. It's just simpler, bro. Mm. You feel me? I'm not gonna lie. When I was a kid, though, yeah, I I hate to admit this, but like I used to, I used to like really look in people's rooms. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if anybody relates I to me. <laughs> I don't know if anybody no. relates to me, but no. but like let's say somebody wasn't home. Yeah, I would walk into the room and like. Take a look at what their life is like. You know what I mean? Like, ah, oh, let me look at this stuff. When Literally you- look around the whole room and look like touch everything and look through shit. And then, and then once you find like, you open the drawer, it's like labeled my diary. Oh, we have the jacket. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Scroll through that nah, shit. Nah, yeah. And I, I was so obsessed because I used to watch those um how-to videos, like life hacks and shit, yeah. where they would hide stuff in books or mm. they make like secret compartments in the wall. Yeah. And ju- I was curious. Yeah. I would try and see if I could find any of that in anybody's room. Word. Like whether it be my, like my cousins, yeah. my aunts, uncles, whatever. Uh-huh. Sorry to admit it, but I did it. That's tough, <laughs> man. That's tough. No, but it's it's fun feeling like it that. Is. Yo, recently actually, I lost I lost this watch, bro. Yeah. And damn, this hurt me so much because I spent a lot of money on this watch and I really uh-huh. love it. Watch that yeah. watch, right? So. I looked everywhere in my house for that shit, right? Okay. Everywhere in my house. Yeah. I looked on my drawers, my dresser, everything. Mm-hmm. And I couldn't find it. I, I literally checked every single corner I could, bro. Okay. I couldn't find it. So I locked in. I'm like, okay, I got to lock in. I'm not losing this watch. <laughs> and you like kind of reverse track yourself? Yeah, I did that. Yeah. But you know what I did first? What'd you do? I locked into like a detective mode. That's the first time I did it. So you role played. Yeah, I role played. <laughs> I felt like I was like Sherlock Holmes fan. Yeah, yeah. You know Sherlock Holmes where he breaks down and then he went here. Yeah. At two o'clock. <laughs> with, right. with like the lines here. Yeah. You had like a oh, red line here, red line here. Yeah. No, you know what I did though? What? Check this in. So 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 I would sometimes I'd put this in my pocket, right? Okay. I'm like, okay, if I left it in my pocket, what else do I have in my pocket? I have my wallet and I might have tissues, right? Yeah. yeah. 
Now there's a tissue on the floor. So maybe if I took out my wallet at that time, that tissue fell out. So I was really looking at everything like clues, right? Yeah. Okay, if this tissue is over there by my dresser, oh that means my, my watch might be close to my dresser. If it's not at my dresser, then where would I move to? Yeah. I'd probably move to my bed. So oh I looked, I literally broke every single thing down like a detective yeah. and I looked for my watch. Guess what? I found it. Where? I found it. At the very least suspecting spot, I would look because I looked everywhere oh, shit, except for the spot. I'm like, no way it can be there. Yeah, where? And it was under my bed. <laughs> <laughs> I would even get under there. Though. I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. That's weird. I feel like I might have manifested it to go there because I didn't check there at all. That was the only place I didn't check. Or, no, to be honest, the, the number one go-to, if you can't find something, mom. <laughs> she always knows she, she'll like randomly like open a closet and it will be there yeah 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 like I don't know why like there's, there's this TikTok of the of the ketchup bottle yeah. in the fridge <laughs> like I seen these, mom where's the ketchup yeah. <laughs> it like glitches out yeah, like, out of nowhere it, yeah. <laughs> bro yeah do you think do you think you can manifest stuff to create itself even though you even think it's crazy yourself manifest stuff to be honest no fan. I don't think I've reached that level yet nah <laughs> nah cause um so there's this story mm -hmm. of this island in Siberia. Okay. Right? What is it? Now, this island in Siberia has this castle and this huge, like, fortress. Mm -hmm. But nobody nobody knows, and it's never written down in history what it was for. Okay. It's literally a mystery to everybody. Like, nobody it's, understands. It's just, like, it's just there. Okay. And it's kind of demolished, too, right? Mm -hmm. Now, what's crazy is on every single map they could find, mm -hmm. there was no... Um, what do you call it? There's no sighting of that island and that castle on any of the maps yeah. except for one. Okay. Now, this one map. Now, when people, okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna break it down for you. Yeah. When when cartographers, the people that make maps, yeah, when they used to make maps, they would add certain things in the map, like stupid shit. They would even add like um squid monsters or something dumb. Oh shit. In the maps, you know why? Mm -hmm. So they could catch anybody that's that's uh forging their work. Or anybody that's copying their work, right? Yeah, yeah. So that was a way to see that, okay, this is my work because I put this random island here that never existed. Yeah. There's no way he can have it too because I made it up. It's like trademark. Yeah, it's like a trademark, right? Mm, yeah. So the theory is that this island was actually just something he put in on the map as like a trademark. Not something that was actually there. Okay. But as, just as a trademark, because every single other map, the majority of the maps of that area uh -huh. did not have this island. Oh, so it was like some something cool he can brag about? Yeah, something cool he can brag about, right? But it ended up really being a castle and an island there. Oh, shit. And nobody knows how it got there. Do you think he just lives in it? Because at that point, if, if I trademark that that's my land, I'm just living in it. Maybe. It's still a mystery to this day. Okay. But... A common theory is like, what if, what if they use that map so much and manifested itself into reality? Oh, okay. that's kind of crazy, right? Yeah, and, and that that's a very like um broad way of looking at, it, like a very crazy way of looking at it. But yeah. if you think about it, if everybody sees one thing as the truth, yeah. does it become the truth? Does it become? We can say that again. If Just everybody like sees one thing as the truth, even though it's not true, does it become the truth because everybody agrees upon it? Oh, okay. I feel like that that's kind of like um with trends mm -hmm. something's not cool until what until somebody Everybody says it oh, already yeah. says it's cool. So yeah. Somebody valid or credible I, yeah, says I, it. I could definitely agree with that. So that's a that's a common thing. You ever watch or you ever read The Giver? Yeah, you ever read I it? I love The Giver. Fam. Yeah, so you know how in The Giver like dystopia. Yeah. Anything they they say, right? Mm -hmm. It's like they don't have their own thoughts. Yeah, Same thing so with uh, 1984 too. Yeah. So they don't really have their own thoughts and anything they say is true. Mm -hmm. It becomes true because everybody knows it's true or like yeah. that's what they've learned. Mm -hmm. So yeah. on some conspiracy shit, yeah, yeah. do you think some of our history is just written in a way for us to believe and it isn't true, it isn't but true. we all say it is because that's all we know now. Oh my God. You, you're gonna have to give me like specific examples because like, oh, maybe this was written for this mm. just to push the, the timeline forward. Who knows, bro? Yeah. So you're saying like, oh, maybe like the wars were just were just manifest. If you were a king, if you were a king, right? Yeah. Would you would you put yourself as conqueror of all of these different events that never really happened? Conqueror of like you you you've done all these goals, no, but I you haven't. didn't actually do all these achievements, no, no, and I you're haven't. gonna do it, right? Nah, because history always comes back to get you, right? There, there's gonna be like scientists. Oh, 
and, and if they can't find it, they're gonna be like, oh, that guy, that ruler yeah. is a fraud. But how the fuck are they gonna know though? They're not gonna because know that no shit. Evidence. They're not gonna know that shit, bro. <laughs> listen, listen, look at all, uh, what's his name? Is it Kim Jong, Kim Jong Il? Uh, Kim, jo- Kim Jong Un's dad. Oh yeah, Kim Jong. Yeah, Kim Jong Il, right? I think so. Yeah, so him mm-hmm. in his own history, bro, yeah. says he doesn't shit, he doesn't pee, poo, whatever. Oh, like false accusation. He didn't even have to eat and he yeah. heals himself, right? Mm. And the whole country believes that's true. Yeah. And the whole country thinks he's a, he's a star basketball player. <laughs> no, literally, literally. Thinks he's a star basketball player, yeah. like a, a award-winning director, everything. Yeah. No, I I feel like it's just with big celebrities and big, like, um, uh, what do you call those? Role models mm-hmm. that people believe it. Because Lil Yachty, he says, oh, I only eat pizza every day of my mm. life. I, I actually don't believe that he does because he's very healthy. Yeah, obviously, obviously. But there's no, he says that he's never eaten a vegetable in his life. Mm-hmm. You feel me? Do you believe that? No, obviously is there not. any evidence? There's no, there's no evidence. That's exactly, the thing. There's no exactly. evidence. Do you think we're getting more gullible or, or less gullible? More gullible for you sure. You think we're getting more gullible? Yeah. Nah, yes, I disagree. Yes. I think we're getting less gullible. No, you can even see the the cameras. The cameras out when there's cameras, anything can go. CBC News, boom, they put out fake news. They're trying to put fake news into us. Everything, fam. Mm, I think so. That's less. No, but I think social media makes it easier for us to be gullible because we just believe whatever's on social media now. Hmm. Oh, that's a great point. Cause what's on what's on uh, social media? Kids. What do they believe? Anything that that's put in front of them. But I feel like now there there was a time before where everybody didn't even know what was real. Oh no, Loki. Cause I, cause remember when those viral YouTube videos happened? We didn't even yeah. know all of this like CGI shit existed. Yeah, I, I fuck. I it's hard to a, say because I, I, I feel like there's a kind of an awakening, and we're so used to being yeah, lied to. Exactly. No, because I feel like when COVID came, everyone just got, re- uh, I guess, more woke. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Because now they were starting to doubt the the vaccine. Yeah, and yeah. Stuff like that. They they were they were just taking it. Mm-hmm. You feel me? They were they were like, oh, let's c- create these conspiracies. Mm-hmm. Okay. Do you think? Because one of the oldest, um, um, I guess, gullible things you can think about is the moon. No, nah, not even that. Bigfoot and Bigfoot. What, what's it called? The Yeti. I, I actually believe that the Yeti and the Bigfoot are like real. Mm. They just morphed into like different things. They're, that's like the first one though. Yeah. If you think about it, that's like the first, um, oh, you're crazy if you believe in Bigfoot yeah, or, yeah, yeah. or Loch Ness Monster. Yeah, because I feel like th- there's people that definitely went on the chase for those mythical creatures. Mm. But are they really mythical? Is a unicorn real? It's hard to say. It's hard to say because there's no proof, exactly, right? Exactly, exactly. You ever heard of um the Yacht Love Pass? You ever What's heard that? about that? Nah. So this is another like Siberian story. Bro. Okay. So, yo, what's wrong with all these like Siberian films? And you know what else happened in Siberia? What? Like all, all of those origins of Christmas happened in Siberia also. Remember oh the, the mushroom? To be honest, let's just go to Siberia. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So the Yacht Love Pass. Yeah. You never heard about this? No. This is like... I think this is what made the Yeti popular. Popular? Yeah, okay. or made that that whole theory and that oh you might you might come across the Yeti. Yeah. A thing. <laughs> okay. Let this me story it. might have made it a thing. Yeah, let me hear it. So there's this story of I think ten or nine hikers, super professional hikers. Yeah. I think they were getting their um they're grading on to be like a next level, like a next tier mm-hmm. of explorationers or what expeditionists, right? Okay, yeah. Now, what happened was they're all pros in skiing, camping, everything. Yeah. They found their way to this place called Death Mountain. Okay. This is a very like coveted spot. If you can hike this, you're a pro. Yeah. Right. Now, the last time they saw them mm-hmm. was on their way up this hill. Oh uh, no, sorry. On this way up this path. Okay. They call it the Atlas Pass because one of the the leaders at the time, yeah. his name was Diatlov or yeah, Diatlov. Okay. Now, the last time that was the last time they saw him. Bro, they found all of their bodies the next day. Okay. In separate areas. I think 600 meters out from each other, yeah. 200 meters out from each other, mm-hmm. separated, right? What they found was a broken tent that was cut from the inside. Okay. So they're trying to escape something, right? Yeah, yeah. And they found footprints towards like all of these areas they ran out to. Yeah. Now, this is where it gets crazy, right? Okay. Most of them died of hypothermia. Okay. But three of them, three of them, this is where it gets sus. Yeah. Because Two of them 
were missing their eyes. Missing eyes? Missing eyes. Missing their eyeballs. Holy One smokes. of them was missing their tongue. Holy smokes. And two of them <laughs> what? were reported to have radioactive substances on their clothing. Radioactive? Yeah. Now, now get this, get this. I think I know what it so is. So they did, they did like um, an X-ray of the bodies and an anatomy. Uh, what do you call it? A biopsy. Yeah, yeah. To see what happened to them, right? Mm -hmm. Now there were fractures in their in their um, in their body in their skeleton. Yeah. I think like twelve broken ribs on one body, God. seven broken ribs on another body, and one of them had like a huge fracture in his skull. Yeah. Right. And they said the only thing that could happen to them with that is like almost a nuclear bomb. Yeah. A nuclear bomb would be able to do that to them. Oh my God. Nothing else. Like how the hell would a force that crazy mm -hmm. hurt them that bad, right? Yeah. They still don't know how they died. They still don't know where that radioactive substance came from. Yeah. And two theories that came up mm -hmm. was either aliens, a Russian experiment, I guess three theories. Okay. And then the motherfucking Yeti. Yeah. I was going to say the Yeti's uh, saliva is or fucking something, right? radioactive. Something like that. Yeah. Because um, cause maybe the Yeti was like this creature and then he yeah. came across, I guess, like nuclear waste and got modified. Oh my goodness. You know what I mean? Morphed into nah. some Godzilla type beat. Oh my God. What was that? So this is all in Serbia? Siberia, oh, Siberia, 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 yeah, Siberia. and and that movie that you made me watch oh, with the Discord, no, that's, the Siberia film. No, that's uh, that's Serbian film. Serbian film. Yeah, that's Serbian. No, film. but you know how um the the stuff happened in that film. Yeah, there's also a story that I found out that was kind of like I I don't know if it related to that or that's where the the film producers got it from. Mm -hmm. But there was a guy named Daniel N Nielsen, right? Mm -hmm. And he was raised up in like a a fucked up family already. Yeah, and his only like person to go to was his grandpa. Mm -hmm. Right. And a few years later, like four years later, when this happened, his grandpa died of, I think, cancer. Yeah. And he was really fucked up. Right. And he, he found out that he was actually like he was gay. OK. Yeah. And his brothers and his stuff was like, oh, they were always making fun of him, always making fun of him. Mm -hmm. He didn't have his grandpa to go to. Right. So he's like, fuck that. I'm going to the army. Yeah. Right? Yeah. So he goes to the army and, you know, it's already really tough to contain yourself because he's around men. Yeah, he's around men all the time, right? And he he's seen so much like fucked up shit, like like soldiers dying in front of him. So he got PTSD. He got PTSD. He got damage. Yeah. But this is where it's crazy because he started having fantasies about the soldiers. Whoa! And damn. this is the crazier thing. Yeah. Since he's seen everyone dying, he said he had fantasies about with doing stuff with the dead, with the corpses, dead bodies. That's messed up, bro. Yeah. He was so fucked up after, like, he came back. Yeah. And I think it was two years later that he went on a spree of just killing. So he oh. would he would go to gay bars. Yeah. And he would, like, drink with people. And then he would strangle them. And if they weren't dead, he would take them back to his house. Damn. Do you know the name of this person? Yeah, Daniel Daniel Nielsen. Daniel Nielsen? Yeah, Daniel Nielsen. That's like that's like the Jeffrey Jeffrey Dahmer. Yeah. Yeah, that's like that. Yeah, exactly. And the, and, uh, the police were, were uh, questioning him. Yeah. They were like, oh, did you do anything with the bodies? And he's like, no, I promise, like, I, I, I've had fantasies, but I never, like, touched the bodies of any of these people. Mm. It's fucked. Like, I don't know how you could fantasize about that shit, bro. Like, damn. You know what's crazy? Because, yeah. like, these stories, they become almost in themselves, like, famous, right? Yeah, yeah. In exactly. a sense, they're, like, celebrities in their own realm. Yeah. And what's crazy to think is there's some people that look up to them as as role models. Yeah, the fam, the Nevada tan. Yeah, I, I bet every like little girl had bangs mm -hmm. and 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 took a picture with like a knife or something. Damn, she became she became like a star like and that. And pretending they were like Kill Bill. That's messed up, bro. <laughs> That's messed up. Because I think when even if something gets a little bit popular, mm -hmm. people want to attach themselves to it somehow. Yeah, I guess. Just like even trends, bro. Just yeah. like if 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 somebody comes out with um a new a new style, mm. right? Somebody's gonna try and like copy it somehow, or at least like assimilate themselves to be part of that. Facts. The fucking oh, what's the big one right now that I I, I don't even rate that much, but it's like the hiking core. It's like oh, hiking um, core with architects and then like the big ass pants and then <laughs> salmon shoes. Like well, that's I've like seen, tech tech wear though. Yeah, that's but I've like, seen so much of it already. Salmon, Sal <laughs> Solomon, Solomon. 
I don't care what the fuck it is. It's not that cool, bro. I think it's I. I think it's yeah. cool. It's chill. It's chill. Yeah, it makes sense though. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna be real. I think that might be the only fashion that actually okay, makes sense. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> if, we're, if, we're, if we're being realistic, <laughs> that's literally the yeah. only fashion that makes sense because yeah. like it has purpose. I get it. Like essential, like you could actually go hiking in that fit. Yeah, you're like you're spending all this money. You know what I mean, you're spending all this money. But it's not just on the name. Like, it, this shit is actual it's good actual material. Thing, yeah. yeah. But then you get those actual people like the Ninja Tech, where it's just, oh, this is all just costume for Instagram. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I watched these videos. Um, uh-huh. There's this guy. I think he's from Toronto. He's, he's, a, he's a YouTuber. Okay. And he do does think? all these, like, gadget videos. I don't know why. Oh, you have have wait, you seen those? Is it the guy who's like, he made um a ring float? Like, he has, like, radioactive where he can make a ring float? No, no, no. It's not that. It's not oh, that. Okay, okay. So he literally have, like, stuff like a bunch of gadgets that he bought throughout the week or something and then he'd like show them off like play with them (laughs) and there's something about like my mind when i see that stuff Uh it's almost like an asmr feeling where i'm attracted to like damn i want to buy that now right and what's crazy he's so smart because Uh his whole content is showing off stuff showing off stuff that he bought oh right so what happens he gets sponsors by all of these companies to promote their stuff. <laughs> so it's like a constant, his content is doing great for promoting stuff, mm-hmm. buying stuff, and he's just getting constant, constant, constant promos and yeah. uh, sponsors or whatever. So so does he make, is this just clothes or like garments, like necklaces? No, it's literally not even like garments and stuff. It's literally gadgets. gadgets. <laughs> like tech, like um, keychains. Yeah. Um, You know those fidget spinners and shit? Mm. That too. Okay. You know what was a, the coolest accessory back then? The mm. Ben 10 watch. The Ben 10 watch. And I, I wish that someone <laughs> remade it so it was cooler. So yeah. we could actually be like, See? This is an Apple Watch, bro. No, but, but like something comes up and you're like, okay, I want to choose that one. Oh, like a hologram? Yeah, hologram. Like a, and then a ping. That'd be tall. That'd be tall. Imagine, imagine that technology where you can just choose your fit and then and it magically comes on you. That's kind of sick. That's, That's kind of crazy. They should make something where you can like design your own, um, what do you call it? Like a file on oh. like, oh, I think they've done it with shoes actually. Oh. So they have these shoes uh-huh. and there's, um, it's kind of like an LCD screen. Wait, like a screen on it's the It's like shoe? a screen on the shoe, but it goes around. Shit, I forgot exactly what it's called, but it's, it's, it's not a screen necessarily. It's like yeah. a fabric, but it can show digital digital footage oh, okay and you can download files onto it uh-huh. and you can wear like a video on your shoes <laughs> that's not that's not like what do you call that what's that word it's like a, it's not it's not a hologram it's not that okay but but like is, is it like wearable like you can it's actually wearable wear sh- it's oh, wearable really? it's i'm pretty sure it's like waterproof too word i, th- I thought you're gonna promote yourself you're like oh there's actually a hoodie where you can cut it out <laughs> <laughs> i thought that's where you're going <laughs> i was like <laughs> you guys want to cop this link in the bio right now at wecostudios.com <laughs> You're fast on that promo. <laughs> I just bagged. I'm slipping today. I don't even have my thing on. See, today. I got it. You know, I you know, it. you know what though? I what? feel like I feel like I outgrew it already. What? Yeah, I feel like I feel like. Oh, you know what's crazy? I had this dream, bro. Yeah, what happened? I had this dream, man. Okay. I don't know if this has anything to do with it, or I'm just like you know thinking about it. Yeah. I had this dream, and I literally, you know that that eye symbol right there. Yeah, yeah. I literally saw that in the sky. In the like dream? Like a huge one. Holy shit. Like smoke. I woke up and I saw like a huge one in the sky. Yeah. I'm like, what the fuck? In your dream? In my dream. And then that was, I guess that was, that was literally tonight. Oh, so I shit. lost my thing tonight and I don't know where it is right Word. now. But no, I had I, a dream of it. <laughs> That's crazy. Tell me what that means for all you spiritual people out there. Yeah. No, because because well, as soon as I wear it, I've actually feel like feel protected. Mm-hmm. And, and my, my cousin, I told you this too, but if it ever breaks or snaps or you lose it, Mm. then that means you're fully protected really by higher power oh because i lost mine it, oh you like lost it fully yeah like, i literally lost it. it i literally lost and, it and by lost i don't mean like oh it's in my room somewhere like dead ass like lost it somewhere i don't know i have to find out because i don't okay. know what it is right now yeah but if you don't have it in your possession you're, you're i can just go back in detective mode i'll find that shit bro <laughs> or just go on amazon and buy that shit. watch how many people are gonna buy this shit now Oh, because we, we, we plugged it? Yeah, we plugged it. I mean, it's, it's been a thing, but yeah. like, it hasn't been talked on a podcast yeah, like this exactly, before. exactly, man. It's never been on Jumpers before, yeah, you know exactly. what I mean? You know what I mean? <laughs> Yo, you know what would be sick? I want I want to open like a P.O. box and... Why don't we just do that? 
We we can do it on the Jumpers Club. That's a good promo into Jumpers Club too. Oh, PO Box. Club? Yeah, PO Box. They can send us. True, we could do that in Jumpers Club. Yeah. Let us know in the comments what you guys want to see on the Jumpers Club. Exactly. Please. We can do uh, POV openings like you guys. Oh, POV unboxings. Uh, PO, PO Box unboxings. Yeah. Stuff yeah, like we that. can do that shit. Exactly. But what, what I was getting to was like mm. the only thing that's scary about that is like what if what if people send us like cursed objects yeah. and shit. Oh, because we're known for that. Well, watch the letter like we open it it's like and then the, there's a candle it's like we open it before reading the letter nah. it's, like, it's like hey Carlos and Gavin please don't open the candle <laughs> <laughs> you, you, <laughs> if you have you've successfully let out spirits <laughs> yo that'd be fucked up like it's a bottle yeah. it's a bottle like hi Carlos and Gavin yeah. <laughs> This bottle was actually sent for me from uh this cur cursed uh fucking wizard. And I'm drinking it. Like, <laughs> I wake up the next day, I have like all these powers and shit. Hi guys, again. Is this it dark hold? Like fucking the, Doctor Strange? This Gatorade has actually been blessed by a uh, witch. Oh my goodness! <laughs> to open your throat chakras. <laughs> throat chakras. I'll open your throat chakras. <laughs> whoa, whoa, pause. Hey yo, hey yo. No, no, no. Cause you know how that rock, that blue rock. Which one? Do you remember that that blue rock I used to have here? Oh yeah, where did, did, I, did I tell you I got I got it re um what do you call it? Rewitched? <laughs> yeah, I guess rewitched. No, there's a word for it. Uh yeah, re blessed? No, cleansed and blessed. Yeah, because oh, okay, okay. I think you have to cleanse it after yeah. after a while. Yeah. And my my cousin's girlfriend, mm -hmm. she's like a witch herself. Okay. Right? And she did it for me. Did I did I tell this on podcast or no? No, I don't think so. Yo, when I got it, that shit was so powerful, bro. Really? Like, I felt happened? it right away. I was getting like a headache. <laughs> You're like, oh fuck, the powers are too strong. Yeah, I was getting a headache, man. <laughs> I swear to God. But I put it in my sister's room. <laughs> <laughs> so what happened to her? Did she feel it? I guess so. I don't Word. know. Word. I don't know. I just didn't tell her. No, you know what? Under her bed. So since um you did your egg cleansing already, mm -hmm. should I do mine on the jumpers club? You could, yeah. Why not? Yeah. Why Wait, not? but but is it is that something you? Do I don't know. Like, I don't know if you're supposed to film that shit because I didn't. I didn't want to film my shit. Okay, okay. Then never mind. I'm gonna be real. Like, yeah. if if you guys saw what I saw there, yeah, it's a real skull. Like you can see it clearly. Oh you guys gotta have freaked out. I wish I recorded, but at the same time, I don't want to like mess with nothing. No, because the scariest one is like, you know how it's supposed to make a face. Mm. It's like you recognize that face. Like, boom, my friend. This is my my closest friend, mm. and you see that face, like. Would you would you tell him that you saw the face or like or would you like oh no why are you doing this to me or just completely cut him off? Mm, I don't know. So so you you see Josh's face in your egg. <laughs> what, egg. what are you doing? What are you doing? Are you going to his place and be like yo what the fuck man? He's <laughs> like yo what the fuck? <laughs> this looks like you bro. Nah nah, that's so whack. You're telling me I'm gonna go to my boy's house and tell him you look like my egg in my cup? Yeah no but <laughs> fam listen listen. What the fuck? No but what are you gonna do like if you seen that like, he's putting bad like he's hating on you from a distance and mm. you finally found out it was him it was like it was like you're finally finding out who's talking behind your back what do you do uh i don't know do you cut him off what do you do mm. it depends what you want to do honestly it depends yeah. what you want to do if you can live with it live with it if you can't live with it don't live with it shit mm. okay right that's a good answer because i think i think some people they they're so conflicted on like Oh, I'm 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 stuck in this position, dog. You're in that position because you don't want to change it. Feel me? Yeah. If you're cool with that position, then don't complain about it. If you're complaining about it, then do something. Mm. That's my big thing. I okay. hate complainers. You hate complainers. I hate complainers. Okay. Like, why the fuck are you complaining? Instead of complaining, do something. Mm -hmm. That's true. But some people are just born like that. Born they complainers. Have, yeah, they they have that personality trait because oh oh, it's not easier to do like this. Then fix up. You can fix up. You know what I mean? It's, it's like it's it's gonna be hard, but like yeah. you can do something to better yourself, and it's yeah. for you. That's it's true. not for anybody else but you. Like you'll feel better about yourself. You fix up. Yeah, that ass. I could I could already see you paging your child as a dad. Like you'll fix up <laughs> <laughs> because because I, I want to be a dad is like the 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 cool laid back one. But like, obviously he'll I'll enforce some rules so he doesn't become a spoiled like brat. You know mm -hmm, I mean? mm -hmm. But yeah, I could already see you like, yo, fix up, bro. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing, man? <laughs> like, I would like as a kid, I would be scared. Man. Why would you? I don't think I would be scared. <laughs> no, because when, when we were going through this podcast shit, even when you were paging me, like when yeah. I went like, the editing shit, like, yeah. yo, fix up, bro. Like, what is this? No, I'm but like, oh damn. But it, it's only look, look, look. Yeah. I say this all the time. Yeah, it's only hard until it's easy. 
It's only hard until it's easy. No facts. Smooth sailing after. after yeah, the like if 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 you get it hard, then that's good. So it's gonna be easy. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like you have to, you have to feel something hard, and then like, okay, I can do this. Now I overcome it. Now it's easy to me. Now okay. what I thought was hard, yeah, I overcame, and I believe in myself to overcome hard shit. Mm -hmm, yeah. So right? how how do you think you developed that? Did your did your parents raise you like, oh, fix up, like that type of uh, nature? Hmm, that's a good question. Because because I I always think of that. I always think about that. I don't. Yeah. I don't even know like the certain things in my life that might have been those that made me that. Yeah. Maybe maybe losing my first fight, losing your first fight, and then you became like, oh, I can't, I can't lose again. No, nah, because I lost my first my first kickboxing fight ever. Yeah, I got destroyed okay. my first fight. Two months after, yeah, I won the national championship. Hmm. Because I trained so hard. Yeah, you fixed up. Fixed up. I fixed up. Yeah. Because <laughs> yeah. I trained so hard, and I thought. Okay, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna lose. I'm gonna focus. Yeah. I'm gonna do what I can and accomplish something I can't do before. Nah, facts. That that's true. Cause I know undefeated fighters too. They tell me they just their their career ended because they just got lazy. Mm -hmm. they, they they have nothing to fix up for. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> you know yeah. I mean? And I guess I guess um one big thing is just always looking at like what's next. Mm. Cause you know me, yeah. cause I ha I'll have these ideas, right? Yeah. But no matter what, I'll have more on top. True. Like if something doesn't fall through, I have a next one right away. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Cause me, me, I've never done like the future planning yet, mm -hmm. but I know I just live in the moment. If I have this one, I'm gonna just do this one, complete it. Mm -hmm. If that doesn't work out, then I have to find something else now. Mm -hmm. Like I just, I just go with the flow type thing. Yeah. I think that that's that like Filipino parent yeah. in, my, in the back of my head. That's like. Yo, you better have the backup, backup. backup. Yeah, backup for sure. Yeah, I'm still in school. That's my backup. True, because yeah. I don't have no backup. My exactly. my backup is literally all this here. Is it. Yeah, this is my backup yeah. is literally all and here. I remember, I remember we were in a meeting, and I think that was the the time where I was like, oh shit, like he destroyed these these like corporate people. When you're like, <laughs> when you're like, no, I can do this by myself. I dropped out of school. When you hit the line, I was like, damn. No, <laughs> no, nah, nah, even, even even their faces were like, <laughs> oh fuck, like. <laughs> What did I tell them? I was like, I was like, oh, I'm a businessman first before yeah. content creator. And they were like, they're like, God damn. And the, the funny thing is, they they thought they had us, and they were coming in the meeting like Carlos and Gavin. Man, yeah, yeah, yeah. You, I know, I know you're gonna sign to us. You feel me? But then the, at the end of the meeting, it was totally different. Yeah, yeah, like, like, yeah. Like you know how DJ Academics was like, Drake is my favorite artist, and then. Yeah, not not to shit on anybody though, but like th those are the type of people that we would have got caught in like in a, a three sixty in a three sixty or a yeah. deal that we wouldn't want to be in. Max, if I wasn't with you, fam, I would have signed that shit <laughs> <laughs> on everything I love, bro. Oh my Cause god, I, I would have seen money. I was like, pop, let me get that, <laughs> Gavin Ruta. <laughs> the biggest thing I want everybody to listen to this part too yeah. is the biggest thing when something looks good, mm -hmm. look around it. Yep. Something looks too good the, to be true. Look around the it first. Fine prints. Yeah, the look fine around prints. it. Yeah. But shit, some things are good and good. Mm -hmm, yeah. But some things are good, but they have other things around. The, the, I, th I feel like in any business, there's always going to be an advantage to somebody. Mm -hmm. Like it can't be a fair trade. Do you think there's something as a fair trade? I believe there's a fair trade somewhere. Really? I believe there's a fair trade. Really? Yeah. It, it it's not as common, but yeah, I believe there is. Yeah, yeah. Because <laughs> look, a fair trade, a fair trade from someone to one person is yeah. is um, is dictated on their their likes. You know what I mean, okay. oh, so like, if you perceive it as a good trade, then it's a good trade. Yeah. Okay. Because look, let's say you value cars. Yeah. Right, and then I give you a Lamborghini, mm. but you give me this rare comic. Yeah. Like shit. That might sound like a crazy trade, like this comic. What the yeah. fuck? What are you gonna do with a comic? I have, yeah. a, I have a Lamborghini now. For sure. But in back of my head, I'm like, yo, I finesse this guy. I got this comic. This I comic's know. worth is gonna be worth like five million in the future, or whatever. Yeah. You know what I mean, it's 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 all dictated on their own personal goals. Yeah. I think. I know. <laughs> That's why it's like in high school when we were doing these clothing trades. I don't think yeah. I was looking back and like all the clothing trades that we did. It was all on your advantage. <laughs> why? <laughs> you, I remember you gave me a fake Velo shirt. But you I, wanted it. Yeah, I know, but I gave you like an authentic like Guns and Roses like, like shirt like. I yeah, but you didn't want that. I know that is so. True. So it, it's so it's it, it is, is a fair, fair trade. trade. It is a fair trade mm -hmm. to that person's own favor. Yeah, you know what I mean, yeah, but maybe yeah, like price points. Maybe I, that's why I didn't think it was a fair trade. No, but, that was but, a fair trade actually. Yeah, maybe. price point. That was a fair trade too. Maybe, maybe. It, it's literally it's literally just dictated on their own likeness. Yeah, that's true. Right? Because I can I can have fucking you ever have you ever been in that in a trade where you're like oh that guy. Really finesse me. Never. Really? I never I never got finessed. <laughs> I, I always finesse somebody. 
<laughs> if I trade with somebody, I got I got it good. Yeah. You feel me? Like, yeah, that's true. Were you the one that, that told me like you made a fake account to bump up the price? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. One, of, one of my Kijiji tactics. Yeah, yeah. No, cause, Yo, cause can my, I put everybody on yeah, this? No, no, because my friend told me that story, same story. He oh, he buying, did it too? He was buying like shoes and he bid, uh, he made multiple counts and he bid it. Mm -hmm. I think it was, uh, I don't know if it was higher or lower. But he bid on it lower, and uh, one of them was the highest, mm. and the guy was like, "Oh no, I, I don't want it anymore." So yeah. the lower guy got it. I don't want to like give the tactics because it's gonna ruin the sneaker market yeah. and just like grailed in general. Yeah. <laughs> grailed is already a finesse. Yo, bro. you can manipulate the fuck out of the market. I don't. Yeah. I don't think people understand that. Just like how stocks are, you can manipulate the market and grailed yeah. in any Kijiji. Just. <laughs> Make fake accounts, post the same product, yeah. different pictures, sell it for a higher price, yeah. and then go back to the person that you want to buy it from mm -hmm. and be like, yo, this is this is some evil tactics. Yeah. And be like, look, all of these people are, are selling it for this low price. Can, can you get it for, for me for that price? Yeah. You know no, what I mean? I, I see that like I think the th the thrifting culture has been uh has got some backlash on that too. Cause uh they're they're known for like sustainability, right? Yeah. But they're selling like a vintage uh, death note tea for like five hundred dollars. Holy shit! But but that five hundred dollars has been manipulated by the market because there's like, uh, faking faking it set, getting sold to someone else, mm. but they didn't even really pay. But now it's worth five hundred because someone actually paid it. Mm. You know, that makes sense. It's so dumb. That's how though. it is. It's so dumb. But you'll get you'll get those people. Anyway. Going back going back to what I said though, if if somebody sees that value in it, they're gonna buy it no matter what. Yeah, it's like a niche. To yeah. be honest, you can sell anything, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's it's literally art. Like yeah. if if that art to you is worth a thousand dollars, it's worth a thousand to yeah. somebody else is worth nothing. Mm -hmm. Do you know the guy on TikTok who who does like that? He has a paint bucket, pokes holes, and just lets it go on a string. Yeah, yeah, I see yeah, that. Yeah, so he actually got invited to one of the biggest like art museums, mm. and he did it in front of like people. Like people were actually sitting there in oh, that's dope. in suits watching him. Yeah, and he was like in regular clothes. He's like, I actually, guys, I can't believe I'm doing this in front of you guys. <laughs> this, this is some bullshit that I just do on TikTok. And then he did it, and I was like. Yo, big ups on that guy, though. Like, he came from TikTok to that? That's crazy. Yeah, to a fine art museum? You're That's good it. shit. That's good shit. Shout You're out that good guy. You're alive, man. But yeah. Well, you want to end it there? Yeah, the, we had a pretty long episode. Yeah, we had a long episode yeah. still. Okay, Um, before we end the episode, though, yes, if you haven't already, go check out the Jumpers Club. Yep. Link in the bio. The link will be down in the bio. Tell everyone, your grandma, your friends, everyone. Yeah, tell everybody that you know about the Jumpers Club, especially the Jumpers supporters. Mm -hmm. And yeah, we'll conclude the episode there. Yeah. Comment, yes. like, subscribe, all that good stuff. Check out the Discord. Yep. And, and make sure to listen on Apple, Spotify, all that. Leave us a five-star rating. We love you guys. Jumpers jump out. Deuces.